Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Mr. Rooks Nine. This is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing The Defenders, and we're talking about the episode 7 of season 1, and it's called Fish in the Jailhouse. So, we start off with, um, face, uh, a flashback with, um, what was it, Facebook? I'm tired. I literally just woke up, so. Anyway, uh, so Stick and Alicia are talking about, um, Murdoch and how he's not, he doesn't want to do what Stick wants him to do, basically. <laughs> and, um, what, and, um, what's just been trying to get on Stick's side and trying to, like, nudge him into that direction, but it's not really working. And then, um, then we go back to the present day where they wake up in, um, jail cell. And then, um, this day talks to Jessica, and Jessica's trying to be tight-lipped about it, but she does um, tell her the truth about the hand and all those people in the organization and stuff. But she doesn't say, like, a whole lot, but she does give, like, a partial tight truth. And then Claire is like, um, she's like, how did I get here? Because she's been in every single episode of every single show in this Netflix universe. She's just been in, she's just been there. She's like, how the hell did I get here? What's happening? So I really do like that, but it's kind of funny. She's like, I just wonder how the hell this happened to me. And uh, then we cut to um, Electra is talking to, uh, is taking command of everything. She's like the being the boss now. And the people of the hand are kind of not happening about that, really. And then we cut to Cage tells the cops about the hand. So they're starting to let them know it's not us, it's people called the hand. They are a criminal organization. They're super dangerous. Just let us handle it. And they're like, no, we don't have time for vigilantes. You need to just sit back and let us handle it, okay? This is official police business now. So we have, so we're having that debate back and forth and stuff. And then Karen and Matt talk, and basically it's about being like the um, daredevil and all that type of stuff, and she doesn't really approve, and she's, he just says, this is literally just my life. This is, this is what happens. <laughs> I, you know, it just happens. And there's nothing you can do about it. And then Colleen and Claire talk, and I really do like this talk because it's a really good scene, I feel like, because they're talking about, like, um, they're just doing, like, encouraging each other and just helping each other out and just, like, and, you know, saying basically that like, Colleen is telling Claire that it's kind of reversed because like, in the last episode it was Claire encouraging Colleen, and this is the opposite. And she's saying that, that you save hundreds of lives yourself being a nurse and doing your job and helping the people that are protecting the city. So you're doing a really good job. And, you know, it's just a nice little back and forth. And then um, Electra and Danny go to the door, which is like the underground place dome thing, which I kind of discussed in the last episode. But I'm recap it just because y'all have not been to this channel yet. If you haven't subscribed, and <laughs> let's see here, and then um, the hand isn't happy about the situation, <laughs> period, because um, they're happy that Danny is there and he's they're the closest they've ever been to having the door open, but at the same time they're not happy about Electra and all that type of stuff, no, because they used their last resources to bring her back to life. And they're all basically mortal now, so whoopsie daisy. <laughs> and so, um, so the defenders they all get into one room and they start to talk um, strategy. And then uh, Foggy talks to Matthew and gives him a change of clothes, which is really his daredevil um, suit. And so uh, then they break out and they leave, and the police captain is not happy about this whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, whatsoever. Then we cut to um, Electra tries to tempt Danny. And you can tell it's kind of working just a little bit. 
So she's starting to do that. Then we cut to Colleen goes through the evidence locker and takes the C4 and leaves, basically. And then, um, since none of them have um, their wallets or anything because the police is in the police custody, uh, they had to take the Metro card. Um, Jessica luckily had a Metro card, so they take the subway. It's like the funniest thing ever. And, she's just, and Jessica straight up steals a beer from a homeless man that has like a six pack and she just literally just takes one and starts drinking it and she goes like it's been a long week <laughs> and then um then we they get to Millen Circle and the hand blocks the door and then we cut to Electra on um, starts to tempt Danny some more but it doesn't work and they have great fight scenes that are happening out between the hand and the defenders and then Electra versus Danny I really do like this a lot then Colleen enters the fight and um, helps out a couple of the defenders and then um, the hand escapes and then um, when they then Electra starts to taunt Dan, uh, Danny but he punched her but um, he didn't do it right and she literally grabs his hand and goes to the door and the wall is now broken so the door is open and then um, Colleen tells Grimm she brought to C4. And then we leave the episode with Danny kind of um, passed out over the wall. He not really passed out, but more like exhausted. And he sees a big ass dragon fossil. And then we have like a big aerial shot from the from the be um, up above. And it's like a huge, huge dragon skeleton. Or fossil, I don't know. It's one of those, okay. But it's such a crazy episode. I really like this episode, especially the fight scenes. They are really super freaking good. I really liked it. And everything about this episode was just good. I like the interactions between people and all the type of stuff. I really, really, really liked it. So I'll give this an A plus episode. And that's pretty much going to do it for me. I really have nothing bad to say about this episode. Trust me, if there was something bad, I would say it because. I should see it's on my album reaction slash reviews because some of them. Woo. Anyway, but overall, as a whole, I'll give this an A plus episode. It was really good. Um, so yeah, so like, comment down below if you like this episode. If you did it, what you like, what you didn't like. I like to hear from people, so feel free to comment down below and then subscribe for more stuff that will be happening. Because I do want to move into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and stuff and do like reviews for that, but I probably won't be doing that because I still got um, DC stuff to do. So I got a bunch of Arrow episodes to do. I got, I basically finished all season two, but I'm busy editing that because I blow up a lot. So I got to edit a bunch of these and yeah. But stuff will be happening soon. So subscribe and I'll see you on the next video and have a very awesome day. Bye, everybody.